Hi, it's Bridget with Above Life Channel. You can probably see me in the mirror. Hey guys. Hi, nice to see you. All right, so guess where I'm at? Grand Rapids, Minnesota at the birthplace of Judy Garland. Above Life Channelers, I know you guys love when I talk to old Hollywood types. Judy Garland is someone that I've had challenges contacting and connecting with. I actually did a, a conversation with her that I just, it was really confusing to me. So since I was out and about and checking out colleges with my daughter way up north in Minnesota, I decided, this is about five hours from my house, I decided to stop here. So you get to enjoy the video tour. Hi, it's Bridget. This is the home, the childhood home of Judy Garland. I hope you enjoy the videos. I'm going to do a series of them. I'm here in Grand Rapids, Minnesota, and I wanted to share with you her home where she grew up. Hi, it's Bridget. We are here at Judy Garland's gallery. We are actually in Grand Rapids, Minnesota. I wanted to share this with you so you could see. This is like a hallway with memorabilia and we go into her home. So we're going to check this out. Oh, Judy Garland and Jean Kelly. Oh my goodness, there's so much stuff in here. It's just moving around, it's scary. I need to try to give you as much of you as I can, and then I want to enjoy it myself in just a moment with my daughter as well. Here's the entrance in the beginning. There's actually some things around me on the back wall, but I want to make sure I get. I'm not actually going to read these myself because I want to make sure that the channeling that I do is pure. There might be a few that I look at, but I'm not going to take in a whole bunch. Again, this is Bridget and Above Life Channel. We're at the birthplace of Judy Garland, which is Grand Rapids, Minnesota. This is part one. All right, this is the second video. This is Bridget with the Bubble Life Channel. We are at the birthplace of Judy Garland. We're in the museum, the Judy Garland Gallery. I wanna to try to give you as much view as I can here. And all of a sudden, at the back of this particular entrance area, there's some interesting things that are showing up here. My daughter just walked by something and it turned on so that was interesting okay. i'll take some photographs as well my friends so you can see fancy fancy glasses and a makeup case of what it looks like Hi, it's Bridget, here at the birthplace of Judy Garland, the Judy Garland Gallery and Museum in Grand Rapids, Minnesota. Walking right into the exhibit, you see this. It shares right here that this carriage, drawn by a horse of a different color from the 1939 film, The Wizard of Oz. There are so many unique things in here. I think if you're a big fan, you would really enjoy this. And then here is one of the dresses right here. And 
something a little bit scary right here. It was not us. And of course, here's some more ruby red slippers. Check these out. The picture goes back and forth. Oh, yeah. All right. We're ready to go into that. another. I see that, yeah. Ready to go into another area. Again, this is Bridget at Above Life Channel, and we are heading into another section of the Judy Garland Museum in Grand Rapids, Minnesota. Hi, it's Bridget. Now we're entering into another room. We're actually going to head over to the house that is connected to the part of the museum that is the birthplace of Judy Garland. So this is what you could experience if you were here. I'm not going to stop and focus on all of these photos. I'm just going to let you take them in as I'm walking by. We have a very small museum in a very small town in Minnesota dedicated to Judy Garland. What did the community think about the museum? Um, like any town, especially small towns. You can hear the documentary of the yeah. Ruby Slippers yeah. playing in the background. And, uh, it's so this fun. talks about her public service. Some people in the community can drive by the museum a hundred times and don't know what's there. It's not part of the, the psyche or the makeup. And this is where Michael Shaw took his shoes and put them on alone. Here we go. Notice all the yellow floors. This is where we're going now, my friends. We're heading into the house now. The gum house, soon after Judy's parents purchased the home in 1919, right after World War I, at least one of the girls is sitting on the side porch stoop. All right, are we ready to go in? Here are her parents, it looks like. There we go. Hi, it's Bridget. Welcome to Above Life Channel. I am entering into this structure, which is actually the birthplace of Judy Garland in Grand Rapids, Minnesota. So come with me. This is the first time I've ever been in here. And you get to come with me as I feel the energy of Judy and her family. respect I'm not going to do any live channeling in here I would not do that I don't have permission to do that I'm just going to show you and share with you what energy I feel as we're walking through here so come on in it all looks like this is the kitchen area here yeah? this is there's all sorts of signage that you can read on your own and you're here Fast, nice and slowly. Looks like this is the front porch area. Side porch. Okay, so I'm gonna step into the parlor area. This is a nice home. It's a parlor. It feels fancy. Well, this is the dining area, and the parlor is the front of the house. This is 
feels fancy to me. But I don't feel a really warm and fuzzy energy. Like I don't feel happiness. I just feel cold. Maybe it's because it's air conditioned, but it feels cold in here. I mean, like I don't feel all warm and fuzzy happy to be happy. I don't feel that at all in here. And there's lots of windows and it feels like a big house. It doesn't feel inspired. Let's take a look at this. was their, their bedroom. Bedroom to the only extent room in the house with its original 1892 bath or lath and plaster walls. Lath and plaster walls. So this is original. The two older girls, the sisters, Mary Jane, age 10, and Virginia, age 8, shared this small bedroom. Bedroom. Let's go to the next one. This one. I feel a lot of energy heaviness right there in this area after walking up the stairs. So. Oh. The youngest child, Francis, or baby gum, later known to millions as the America's Treasure Duty Garland. Shared this bedroom with her parents. Okay. Alright, so she was the baby. I really feel it's just a stomach, like a lot of pressure in my stomach and my solar plexus between my heart chakra and my stomach. Feel energy here. It doesn't feel bad necessarily or anything like that. I don't feel like this place has spirit or anything like that. I feel just not. It feels un unaccomplished it feels not complete not complete so I'm not sure if Judy actually wanted to be a star or if that was something she was molded into it kind of feels like she may have been molded into not that she didn't like it not that she didn't have talent not that that wasn't something she ended up wanting eventually for herself but I don't think she was born with that necessarily intent full-on like I don't know how to, I, I'm not saying she doesn't have star power, I'm just saying I, I feel like there's a conflict between what her heart wants, what her heart desires, and who she is and how talented she is, if that makes sense. All right, let's head back downstairs. Here's some interesting information you may want to look at about all the girls and their family performing, being part of showbiz. Grand Rapids, that's where we are here. We're actually in the front room of the parlor of the home. The energy isn't bad here. I wouldn't say it's bad or intense or anything. It just, it feels, it's beautiful with the light coming in. It feels not, not um, disturbing or anything like that. Not, not stuck or trapped or anything like that. I just, I do feel like she perhaps found her joy in expressing and playing, playing, she said, play acting, playing. But again, I think it, there was some kind of conflict within the heart and the solar plexus, and I can't tell exactly if, I don't want to say acting wasn't her passion or her purpose, but it feels like it was, it wasn't an easy thing. Not easy, gosh, I can't even, it's the relationship with her and her mother that's really tough for me to kind of navigate and that's challenging for me before when I have tried to channel her is that's a difficult energy vibration and so I can't tell what part of her passion and her experience in her life is pure and divided, guidedly, guidedly, divinely guided or directed and chosen by her or what part of her path was really shaped because of her mother and her family and their wishes. It's hard, it's really hard to tell. I guess it's hard to know. I'd have to chat with her about that specifically. We're here in the dining area. 
This is one of the quotes that she gave about this home and her place here. to know that she had a sweetness of her childhood. Mm. At least at this point. Again, I have mixed, conflicted feelings, energies about her career, her life as an actress, as a singer. I just I have really mixed vibrations from her, and I hope to explore that further in the future with you here at Above Life Channel. Again, we're entering the kitchen area. Off to the kitchen, off from the kitchen, there's this additional room. I'm not quite sure what this is used for. Let's see if it shares. It does not. No. It almost feels like a study. Like it could be a guest room or even a bedroom, but it feels like a study. I feel like there's a masculine energy here, a man energy. That's what it feels like to me. Mm. It's quite nicely done the way they reconstructed everything. It's very nice. Again, this is Bridget, and this is the last video. And now I leave and follow the yellow flooring back out to the rest of the exhibit.